It's one of Ghana's most iconic places. Cape Coast Castle was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site more than 30 years ago. Sitting on the edge of the coast, the fort was built by European traders in the 17th century and later run by the British, who used it for defence and to trade. First timber and gold, then people. This is the entrance to the mill dungeons. Now, British built the castle such that the dungeons could take 1,300 slaves at one time. But men were always 1,000, women 300. They were kept in the dungeons for a period of two weeks to three months. Minimum two weeks, maximum three months. All depends on the availability of European ships. The grim reality of the Atlantic slave trade dominates here. It's taught to school children who visit and draws visitors from around the world. Over the course of 200 years, tens of millions of men, women and children were sold into slavery. Here at Cape Coast Castle, they would pass through this door, the door of no return. From here, they'd be taken to the ships that would carry them to Europe and to the Americas. It's a sad and tragic chapter in Ghanaian and world history, but according to experts, it's important, it's not forgotten. If we don't know our past, we wouldn't be able to build a better future. And the history of the world cannot be complete without a story of slave trade. So it is important for everybody, wherever you are from, whether you are European, African, Asian, to know about the tragedy that happened to Africans, so that uh, together we can prevent this tragedy from happening in the near future or in the future. A recent deal signed between Ghana's museum board and leading conservationists will now legally protect historical sites like Cape Coast Castle. There are also new agreements to raise public awareness about these locations' legacies. Restoration is already underway here, but as ever, there's a constant demand for funding. Well, we still need more, but we're trying with what we have. So what we generate here, the internally generating funds, which is from the entrance fees, is used you know, for restoration works and the maintenance. We still need, we still need more assistance. Um, luckily enough, we have uh, very good partners who do assist us. Population growth and fast urban development have placed many of Ghana's historical sites under pressure. Internationally funded conservation drives have been able to protect some, but it's an ongoing fight to safeguard the past so that it can inform the future. Katerina Fatotsi, CCTV, Cape Coast.